Uh, hello. I am very glad to greet everybody here, all those who are here physically or in the cyberspace. I would like uh, to satisfy uh, the curiosity of all inquisitive people here. I'm going to tell you what Excite means, who we are, what we do. Excite. Uh, the acronym means Excellence in Information Technology in Estonia. And Tarmo Ustalo was the person to come up with this acronym. Excite has been created to, uh, to develop IT systems and uh, services that are secure. We were founded in 2016, uh, it uh, involves 16 IT research uh, groups. Our partners are Tallinn Technical University, Tartu University and Cybernetica. Uh, we are funded by the European Regional Development Fund. At the moment, our main fields of study are security, healthcare, robotics, uh, of artificial intelligence, cloud solutions, and computing languages. In our first years, our center was kick-started by Professor Maria Kuzma, but then she became vice chancellor of research at Tantec, and at the end of uh, 2020, I became the coordinator. Uh, we have a board that uh, uh, that leads our activities. The members are Marlon Dumo, Peter Lau, Tarmo Ustalo, Jaak Vilo, and myself. Our, in our center of excellence, nobody is alone. All uh, top scientists try to help each other as much as they can. And uh, and our work is based on the matrix model. We use competence of different groups who would otherwise operate jointly. We jointly also supervise doctoral students, postdoctoral students, and of course, we have joint uh, scientific publications. The number of publications by our researchers in 2021 increased 700. I would like to go through all the 16 uh, fields of activity of the research groups, IT and security. We are all uh, used um, to the high-speed and secure internet. We can continue working um, at home and communicate uh, despite the uh, pandemics, despite the uh, war in Crimea. And the uh, research groups in cybersecurity use all the knowledge for the security of people in cyberspace so that their identity and personal data wouldn't be exploited. Developing secure Estonian applications are also important, e-voting, secure data, data exchange. Uh, this is done under the supervision of Peter Laud from Sabinetica and uh, uh, Professor Skoczek Tartu University. And the last group also optimizes the transfer protocols of uh, large data. In the future, uh, quantum uh, solutions help to make uh, uh, data transfers and, uh, and uh, data in general uh, more secure. And this is supervised by uh, Professor Unruth. Jan Reich uh, supervises uh, 
some other aspects. Now, robotics. There are two research groups that deal with robotics. Uh, Professor Maria Kruzma's group uh, deals with underwater uh, robots. Uh, they can, for example, uh, assess our, our ecosystems underwater, blue algae uh, growth, uh, the quality of coastal waters, etc. The uh, soft uh, soft robotics, is uh, this trend is uh, supervised by Professor Alvo Alvo. Uh, the soft and compliant materials that are used in um, making these robots uh, would help a lot in healthcare. Uh, for example, a uh, doctor can uh, be more exact in their diagnosis. For example, it is possible to insert such robots into the air and they can uh, deliver medicines to the right place in the patient's body. In order for the robots to uh, to do what is expected to them, so Ulle Gota under her supervision, uh, operating systems are modeled. Now, IT, uh, artificial intelligence, uh, uh, computing languages, cloud solutions. There is a group supervised by Marlon Dumas uh, who uh, uh, are just working on the monitoring of business processes. Uh, and they use um, artificial intelligence, is it? For example, how um, possible it is how that a process um, instance doesn't lead to a favorable result. Uh, for example, the customer doesn't get the uh, goods. Um, IT is also very important in greening the world. There are uh, work groups in our center that uh, uh, work on the uh, process optimization of energy network so that energy consumption is more reasonable. And, uh, Professor Yuri Belikov is supervising this field. Uh, there are uh, fields of our study that uh, uh, develop algorithms and methods for the development. They use functional programming, uh, transformation of programs, um, methods for um, construction. Estonia is very active in developing its fast internet uh, network even in the sparsely populated uh, area so that uh, uh, IT services would be accessible to everybody. Uh, but we need cloud uh, computation for it and we need the uh, Internet of uh, Things. Yannick Moulet and Professor Satish um, uh, Siram are the uh, supervisors of these fields. We wouldn't have such a good representation of COVID virus spread analyses if we didn't have uh, Professor Jaak Bilo from my research group. Before pandemic, the major problems in Estonia were non-communicable diseases such as cardiovascular problems, lung problems, cancer. But now we have infectious diseases as well. Uh, influenza and obviously COVID-19, but also mental health problems and illnesses due to them, which would have a huge impact uh, in terms of um, social issues and economy as well. For health promotion, we have various uh, research groups working also in our Center. Yannick Mirovey, for example, and in, my, and in my research group, Professor Villo, but also in Center Safra. We are developing early detective 
detect the sensors and also uh, processing of large-scale health data. So that would be a brief overview about our center of excellence and into the activities of our very good professors. What I can also tell you that the scientists and researchers that we have are very curious. This is essential for top scientists. I also believe that if there were more curious people in the world, then there would be less those who are narrow-minded and also less violence. So I wish you to be curious and I wish you a successful conference. Thank you. Many thanks, Ivo. I know it wasn't agreed beforehand, but perhaps you can join me back here again because we have already received a question from the audience and I will take the opportunity to ask it right away. The question is 5G perspectives in Estonia. So what kind of technologies would we need in order to be able to provide 5G networks? to go into the masses. Well, 5G technology, first and foremost, means that we are, would be able to connect more sensors, more smart sensors into the network. And these sensors could be used for gathering data information, uh, representing this information, processing this information. And since I work a lot with health technologies, then one of the highly prospective area for 5G would be health. Uh, we have an aging population, so 5G would come in and provide very convenient environments uh, in the homes for the elderly, for example. We could have sensor systems that monitor the health uh, status, the well-being of the residents, and it would be very easy to share and exchange this kind of information. Well, it sounds like I'm ready to grow old, having heard this. Thank you.